Hello, this is the Dreamer D51 camper van uh, and uh, this is the first time that I have videoed a Dreamer vehicle on the Ford Transit base. Uh, now, Fiat has got all sorts of problems with su its supply chain. Ford seems to be having much less difficulty in sorting its supply problems out. That's why you will see far more vehicles on a Ford base than before and fewer on the Fiat Ducato. Six meters long, it costs 71,320 euros. Let's have a look inside. Hey, that's clever, isn't it? That's a power door. Uh, right, what have you got in this? Now, a lot of people sort of ask about Dreamer and uh, certainly it's a Rapido company which certainly has had a uh, lot of success. In fact, the first time I saw one, I met some lady who worked for the company. She asked me what I thought of Dreamer. So I said to her, do you want me to uh, be polite or would you like the truth? And when she asked for the truth, I gave it to her. However, since then, I have changed my mind a bit. Because one of the things that Dreamer does have, it looks very uh, attractive inside. So it's one of the most attractive uh, of the mainline uh, camper van manufacturers. And bearing in mind, you know, for a six meter van, this has got a lot. But the reason it's got so much is I think uh, because of its extended roof. It's very high and uh, that, I'm a big believer in having high things. Now, up here, I'm gonna show you some of the storage, if I can get in. Uh, there you go, a lot of storage there. However, corner pieces completely wasted. When you've got a six meter van, you cannot go around wasting storage potential like that. Ah, it's rounded, you say? Yes, it is rounded but uh, there are solutions for rounded uh, things such as, um, what do you call it, uh, I forgot the word now, <laughs> the, like the sliding door look, that would do, or, or, or other things. Here we've got a, uh, uh, a window, and of course there's windows in the back. If you wanna get into the bed, you can actually stand on this step, which is now down. I'm going to turn the lights on, assuming, ooh, and that's the best, time. oh, no, that's not too bad, okay. <laughs> uh, shower, shower in here, let's have a look at the uh, facilities in the shower, uh, there's only one plug, I see, one plug hole, sorry, one, one drainage hole if you like, and unfortunately, it is a small one, which is not good in my opinion, hear that, hear that noise, that, is the noise of the lights letting you know there we have this uh, rather uh, unusually shaped uh, wall which is designed to c stop the toilet getting wet when you mess up the shower however if you don't want uh, you don't mind getting the toilet all wet and you want to see yourself in the shower you can do so because the shower head is up there and here we have, I don't know what are these things called, the shower, shower, the shower controls, the shower board, something like that. But that, that is really an unusual feature, I'm assuming nothing. Uh, yesterday uh, we, we, we tried, was, I was with a friend and we tried something out and the, the thing was, we did this and it was full of water. Um, <laughs> it was quite amusing actually. Uh, it wasn't me who got wet though. And uh, one expects these things to be empty uh, at events like of this nature. Uh, here we've got a uh, cover over the two uh, burners made by Can of Italy and what I consider myself to be a very sensible solution which is a, a square or rectangular in this case shaped uh, sink. Uh, the benefit of that is once more once one of space. Unfortunately it's let itself down by having uh, and this small uh, uh, drainage in it for which we can't get uh, um, things to stop bits floating down into the system. There you go, nice 
nice big drawer. Big drawer with dividers and a proper side to the, the wall. Uh, here, bench, uh, large table, the logo which greets you as you come in, just in case you forget which van is yours. I do appreciate light coming into my motorhome. Quite like the colour scheme, although lots of people say it's not going to be white for very long. White is a very French colour. It's used uh, in French motorhomes quite a lot because the dream is manufactured in France, of course, but um, it is uh, associated particularly with uh, larger vehicles as well. Let's have a look at the rear end of it. So you see it's a transit, just in case you didn't believe me. And uh, okay, here uh, we can see first first thing is this, is that you've got all of this space which is down, uh, down below currently being used to transport uh, mattresses or cushions or whatever, don't know how to call them. But you've got a lot of space there uh, which is a positive feature. Uh, slatted um, beds and the bed will come up like this as well. Give, I mean, you, put a, you could put a bike in there, I mean, you'd have to sleep on the other side of the bed, but you can, you got all of this space in there to play around with. Um, also, you can have this uh, divider down there will come out if necessary. Over there, we've got the gas cupboard. I admit it's a little bit difficult to get access if you've got a dodgy back and you're trying to uh, roll your gas uh, into there. Instead of doing that, why not just get a refillable solution which will um, stop the need for carrying heavy gas cylinders around. If just about everybody I know of my age has problems with their back. I bet somebody's going to write in now. I don't have any problems with my back. In fact, do that. If you don't have any problems with your back, do write in to say that you don't have any problems with your back. Why has this been put on a pedestal? Well, presumably because it's a new vehicle. So what I above all like about this, in my opinion, is the height. When you've got something as high as that, you've got huge amounts of space to play around with. Anyway, that's how I see it. Others may see something different. So, uh, there we go. A very nice looking vehicle. Now, if you're interested, of course, you might want to subscribe. I upload every... Um, what do I upload? Every day I upload. Oh, I thought this was a power door. No, well, it doesn't want to... Doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't want to move, so I'm going to leave it. So, uh, I upload every day at 21.15. And so if you're interested, please do uh, consider a subscription. Thanks very much for watching.